If you spend any time surfing the internet, you already have a number of favorite websites, I'm sure. And what you like to do in your browser is save them as favorites or bookmarks, whatever you want to call them, so that it's easy for you to get back to that website when you want to look at it without having to type in that URL. Let's go ahead and show you how to do that in IE9. I'm going to go to one of my favorite websites here. Let's go and jump right over here from our new tab to the Chicago White Sox, my favorite baseball team. And I want to save this as a favorite so that it is easy for me to get to it whenever I want. It's very simple to do this. I simply need to go up here in the upper right corner of my browser. You'll see these three buttons, the one in the middle, the little yellow star. It even says your favorites, feeds, and history. I'm going to click on that. And right up at the top, you'll see add to favorites. Once I click there, I get this window, which prompts me to add a favorite and asks me where I'd like to put it. Because I have folders full of favorites. And I also have the root or top level folder, and that is simply favorites here. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at the drop down. And we'll see those other favorites. Now I can go ahead and choose to save this in one of these folders. And right now I choose not to do that. So I'm going to simply click on add. And now let's close this up. We'll go back here to my favorites now. And see I get this little pop-up. This menu here. And at the very bottom in that top level favorites you see the official site of the Chicago White Sox. Click on that. It's a link right to that web page. It is one of my favorite web pages. Pretty simple. All right, now let's go ahead and let's open up another tab. We'll go to another one of my favorite websites, Train Signal. Now I want to go ahead and save this. And I actually have a number of websites having to do with Train Signal or Train Signal related things. So I want to create a folder for this website. So what I'm going to do is click on my star again. Add to favorites, but this time I'm going to select new folder because I want to create a new train signal folder. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it train signal and create. Make sure that my favorite, which is named computer training videos, well, let's go train signal computer training videos. Make sure it is in the train signal folder and select add. And now, if I go ahead, close that up, go back to my favorites, we'll see there is my train signal folder. And when I open it up, there is the link to train signal. Now, over time, you'll probably get a number of favorites. You'll have lots of them, dozens of them. And like everybody else, maybe you're not quite so organized and you're not good about putting those favorites in a particular folder. You just kind of leave them in that top level folder. And before you know it, you might have dozens of favorites just sitting there. Well, when it comes time to organize those favorites, IE9 makes it easy for you. Let's go ahead and let's click on that star. And... I'm going to click over here to the left side of this little pop-up. And you see that green arrow? It says pin. All right, come on, show it to me again. Pin the favorite center. When I click that, it'll open this up over here on the left. And I can leave that open. It's easy access to my favorites all the time. Or while that's open, actually, this doesn't have to be pinned. It can also go ahead and be just dropped down like a pop-up. From the Add to Favorites, I have a drop-down arrow. I can click that and select Organize Favorites, and that will open up this window, which will allow me to create new folders, move links or folders, rename links or folders, or delete links or folders. So let's go ahead and let's start by creating a new folder. I am going to call this one Sports, and I'm going to move my White Sox link into that sports folder because I'm going to tend to have a lot of sports links. I'll have for hockey, I will have for ESPN, things like that. I'm going to go ahead and select that link, go down here and select the move button, and it will prompt me to click the folder that you want to move the selected file to. I will select sports, choose OK, and notice now, let's close this, that that 
official link for the White Sox is in the sports folder. And I can go ahead and also simply move these by clicking and dragging. Let's create another favorite. Let's go open up my tabs and let's close this because I want more. There we go. I want a link for ESPN favorite. And let's just say I added this to favorites. I didn't put it in a folder specifically. Let's pin this open. Choose organize favorites. And notice that somehow, somehow, well, when I select that drop down, I didn't pay attention to what folder was already selected. I must have accidentally had that train signal folder selected, and my ESPN link went into my train signal folder. Well, I want to move it to sports, and I can either do that like I showed you select it and click on move, or I can simply click and drag. I'm going to select that, hold down my left mouse button. And see how I'm dragging there? When I get it right on top of the sports folder, I'll let go of the mouse button. And now that ESPN link is there in the sports folder. Just like that. Now, there's one other thing I want to go ahead and talk about. And that is our favorites bar. You'll see I have a folder for the favorites bar. And you're asking me, what exactly is the favorites bar? Well, the favorites bar, and if I open the folder, I'm trying to open it, and it's not because there's nothing in it. The favorites bar will exist right here below my one box so that I can go ahead and simply click on those. I don't have to go and get the pop-up to get my favorites. Let me show you what I mean. To get the favorites bar out, I simply need to click somewhere in a blank area of my browser up here at the top. I'm going to right-click and select favorites bar. See that? Just drop down there below the one box. That's my favorites bar. There's nothing on it. But I'm going to go ahead and I am going to add favorites to it. I'm going to go to my sports. I'll click on the White Sox. And there's a couple ways I can do that. You see this star over here in the left corner? If I click there, notice it says add to favorites bar. I click on there and, well, I must have clicked twice because it gave me two favorites for the same thing but now I have a link on my favorites bar for the White Sox and all I need to do is click it and it takes me right there and that's going to be there all the time I can also let's do it this way go over here and take this link for ESPN and add it to the favorites bar like that see that it's up there or I can go open up a site like this. And again, just like I showed you before, click here to add to the favorites. Add this as a favorite here. And then go back in. And drag it up. Or actually, we already showed you that, we can copy that link and add it to my favorites bar that way. So now I have it in two places. However I want to do it, adding those favorites to the favorites bar is pretty handy. And when I close my browser and open it up again, all my favorites are still there on my favorites bar. And also here in all of my different folders. And that's how you can go ahead and add favorites. And you can delete them quite easily, either by right-clicking on that favorite and choosing delete. Or if you go to the Organize Favorites, you can select one and use the Delete button, just like that. Now you also have a Rename button. And occasionally, a website name might not be very descriptive. We're good about it here at Train Signal. The Pittsburgh Penguins have it. ESPN, the White Sox, all seem pretty good. Some websites that you go ahead and mark as favorites may not 
be clear if you're looking at that favorite just exactly what that website is for. So it's very simple to rename it to something. I could click on rename and just simply call this, let's use this example, just call this train signal. If you wanted something different or something more descriptive or something shorter. Something so that when you see it, you know what it is. And that's what you need to know about favorites. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.